Hey guys, welcome, thank you for watching. This is a video about my plans on the R1. You also have seen in the, in the previous video that I got this uh, really nice looking G-Made R1. Now I am aware that this car doesn't have the best a, a reputation in RC world. So, so I looked it up on the internet, watched some videos on YouTube, uh, and have come with some ideas and some affordable upgrades. Th some, some things will improve its drivability, the way it should crawl better. Other things are pure aesthetical because I also uh, wanted to look badass. Uh, you all know by now that I want my rigs not, not to be just, for example, just a R1, but I want it to be more my R1. So, um, let's start with the tires. Uh, these G-made big horns tires seem to suck big time. Uh, and the way they feel, I think I can agree to that. Uh, they are really not that soft. Um, if I place the car, they don't uh, turn the camera down just a little bit. Yes, that's the one. And if I uh, park my one of my SCX stands and I place it down, the tire just squeezes. These don't squeeze at all. So, um, and they also do not feel just as grippy as, for example, my Proline Flat Irons did, or more recent, the Mud Slingers. I guess something is to blame on the foams used. Uh, so, I'm going to start with them. I'm going to cut them just a little more star shape. Um, I do know that this is a very lightweight car, but still. I think it can use some softer foams. I also gonna put some st sticky lead uh, in the tires. Um, I guess I will put up to 90 grams. That's about 3.2 ounces, and probably 60 grams in the rear, uh, 2.1 ounces. If you have any th thoughts on that, please let me know. Um, now, what really makes me unhappy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom the camera in. Okay, what really makes me unhappy is the use, the excessive use of Phillips screws, uh, and also on the bead locks. Um, I have experienced in the past with crawling on rocks. I had that especially with my uh, Exxon Rockstar rims. Uh, we had small hexes, um, but also some other uh, rims that these get damaged the first. So I already ordered some black hexes of carbon steel, which are hex 2.5, and I think it should also look better, but also um, uh, get less damaged. Those black hexes I will also use on other parts of the body. Uh, not that it is necessary, but I think it just looks cool. So. Okay, on with the lower links. I already already ordered some some of those uh, links who are, are curved to give it just a little bit more of, of, of ground clearance. The upper links as well as the uh, steering links they stay. However, I did I did already order a diff cover because uh, this is just flimsy plastic and as you can see and I will turn the car around I'll zoom a little bit in I guess this is the first part that will get damaged and I think I can use just a little bit more protection over here so I order that Unfuck uh, slider diff protector to make it uh, more protected now talking about skid plates, I do already see a, a potential problem with the bottom plate. Uh, there's a name for it in English, I do not know exactly what it is. I do realize it needs that pattern to, to, to strengthen the, the, the plate, but still I do not like the way it looks. So I'm gonna, so, so I was thinking of a way to make a protection plate myself, of course I can buy it, it is for sale. 
but it keeps the fun and this hobby if I can make it my, myself in a budget smart solution. Talking about solutions uh, which I, I thought of myself or by others, the drive shafts, well these are practically new, this, this car hasn't have any real wear and tear and the tra tra drive shafts they really look as have they have never uh, spot before um, so I will be, so I will, will not replace them by others uh, the shaft from Unfuck by example however what I will do is reinforce them in a way my friend Don has thought of by sticking and I'm going to change the point of view and I hope you can see this because it's a little bit too dark but this lower section here is hollow so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to st put a, a metal r rod in there which should improve and strengthen the, the inner side so to make it more solid, more massive but I also have a question for, for you guys since I'm new to G-Mates if, if I would see the, this or my one of my XCXs I would panic because then the diff lock would, would have worn out now this car is so new that I cannot that I do not think that this is to blame on the diff locker but it has a lot of play does any one of you know it is normal? It also does that on the rear. Less, but still. If you have any thoughts on this, please put it in the comment box because I can use your advice on this one. Now what I also learned on the forum is to make some links between the shock towers, the shock mounts, because they do have a lot of flex of course due to the material and the construction but, I, but they say it will improve its crawlability so I already have one in the front this is from a, a Vatera that, that a friend of mine had I may would have it but I'm also going to make one here uh, that's a little bit longer and didn't have that size so I may make that one myself now for the shocks themselves, that's a whole new, that's a whole different ball game. These these stock G made transitions. Uh, opinions on these shocks are very different. Uh, some say they are perfect, others say they suck big time. Well, I will test that for for myself. Um, I'll keep them. I already noticed that they are leaking just a little bit. On the other side, I've never had uh, shocks, no, neither on my axles, neither on my uh, uh, Atraxxus, uh, other cars, uh, T2, T2Ms, uh, they didn't leak, so I'm kind of used to leaking sh shocks, so to speak. I will, I will just uh, probably uh, mount them a bit different. Uh, I heard somebody mount the front shock to there was there and the rear towards there so I think I'm gonna try that it will, it will also lift the body just a bit there will be a matter of trial and error I guess so okay over to the tag side um, for the motor I will use this this older but still very reliable Novak 45 turns crawler motor. I had this uh, in my rate also, and this is a very, very trusty motor. Lots of torque, a true beast, and still f f feels very new. The ESC, I know by now, I do. I'm really crazy about this hobby way quick runs. 1060 brushed to, uh, to the three asleep already uh, ESCs. They have 100% drag brake, they are waterproof, and they come as cheap as hell. The servo will be 
my BS Savox, as you can see, SW0231MG. Now the good observer knows that this type of servo is normally waterproof, so the blue version. But I am not a huge fan of too many colors, and, I uh, and blue would curse with the rest of the car. So I sprayed it flat black. Still, it has 208 ounces of torque, and that should be enough. The receiver, well, uh, I do have this laying around. It's an actual air tree, reliable. It goes in a waterproof receiver box, which is on the way. That's been shipped. It's a very small receiver box. So, well, now the styling. Um, the opinions on this car are various. Uh, uh, I think uh, some say they like it, and some say they don't. I think do not think there's uh, something in between. It's it's. It's a kind of a weird RC, but I think it's really a, a cool RC, look, a cool looking RC. Um, I, and I do have this thing, and I also hear saying at Hemistorm all the time, be creative. And I think if one man is being creative, uh, it's Hemistorm. I always uh, like to see what he comes up with, crazy ideas. And I'm also a, a fan of crazy ideas myself. So, uh, I was talking, I'm telling you about these, uh, about the button plate, which I'm going to make new. And I'm thinking about making it a bit wider and bend it a little bit upwards so it will be, become a kind of a rock slider kindish looking thing. Now what I'm also thinking about is making a new Lexon, uh, of a piece of Lexon, and extend this body piece, body panel, towards here. Also to, so that it will cover this side. Just a small detail, these screws at the bottom of the sh shocks, they are just a tad too long. Minor detail. But it's annoying me. Last but not least, zoom back. Zzz, steady, easy. Yes. I have this thing for lights, and 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 um, I am aware that G G Mate makes a link, a kind of a light bar thingy that goes in between there. But I'm thinking about uh, making this section a bit l longer, bend it down. Lexon, or maybe aluminium, and put some lights into there. I have some uh, some of those small, small, tiny, small angel eyes somewhere lying around, and then also the same in the back as long. And I do have a lot of space here. Maybe I will extend it on the battery plate, bend it down, put some red angel eyes in, in there. Oh, and yes, yes, last but not least, to complete the weirdness, and you may call me crazy, uh, but also here, yeah, just trying to be creative, to making it more my R1, I'm thinking about making kind of a spoiler on the rear, just beneath the battery plate, or maybe up, up here, so it can still reach the battery. Kind of like the Exoterra has. Now I am aware of the fact that the Exoterra is built for speed, and this one will be intended to crawl. But it's about the fun of it. It's about being creative. It's building something that looks badass. So, so guys, as you saw, as you heard, I have some really crazy, wild ideas for this R1. Um, um, that brings us to the, to the end of this video. Uh, if you have any thoughts about this, about playing the wheels, is it a diff, is it normal, maybe it's normal, uh, um, if you have any other suggestions, uh, think with me, uh, comments always welcome, please put them in the comment box below, uh, and thank you for, for watching, please share, subscribe if not so yet, uh, like, thumbs up, and I hope to see you again next time, um, 
maybe while I'm building or maybe that's all we'll also be ready. So hey, thank you guys. Bye bye.